Ah, it is so easy to slip instantly into this painting, this nocturne by Eugène Janson, to gaze into the luxury of brushstrokes, short and long, wet and dry, sweeping, sensuous, strokes of paint that sculpt the contours of the coastline, that outline the shapes of the water current into this world of evening blue. But before you completely surrender to the lure of this painting, I want you to look at another painting by Eugène Janson, the painting of swimmers at the Navy bathhouse from 1907, entitled Flottans Badhus, which hangs in the Munch Hall. It is to your right, through the salon. You can see the door to the Munch Hall from here. Walk over to this painting. As you are walking, you will pass other Janson paintings along the way, all of them on the south wall to your left. A painting of a winter landscape in this room, a painting of dancers, a self-portrait near a window in the salon. Take note of these artworks as you walk to the painting of bathers. Once you arrive, look at the Flotans Badhus long enough that the image makes an imprint on your memory, so that if you close your eyes, an after image of the basic shapes in the painting remain. Take your time. Press pause on your device and walk over to the Flotans Badhus, and then come back to this nocturne. I will wait for you. You're back. Back in front of the scene which takes place much later in the day than the sunlit scene of the Navy bathhouse. It is the moment just before night falls, a time one cannot yet truly call night. The sky is hanging on to the last wash of daylight. Everything is cast in dark blue, a color softened by shadow, yet at the same time glowing and luminescent. The water shines a metallic Byzantine blue. It's the color gold would look if it too were blue. It is a moment when being on the banks of the river conjures fatal thoughts, a quiver of urgency, a last chance. It is difficult to determine if Janson painted this scene, this particular blue, based on observation, or based on his dreams, his fantasies, his own lexicon of color and meaning. For this blue appears in so many of Janson's paintings, in winter scenes, in the clothing of dancing men and women, in the landscape through his self-portrait window, and as an aura around the bodies of the bathers that you now hold in your memory. Janson even signs some of his paintings with this color, underscoring the extent to which this blue is his signature. Patrick Steon, the director of Tilska Galeriet, suggests that Janson's blue holds a promise. Holds a promise of a meeting, an encounter, a sensual and a sexual encounter, possibly, and it has an allure of that. I think it had that for European urban audience at large, but especially for homosexuals, because homosexual acts were forbidden by the law in Sweden in this period. So by necessity, the meetings had to happen in the dark, shielded by the dark, in the shadows. This blue symbolizes passion. There is an emotional register that opens up whenever Jansson uses this color. Wherever Jansson's blue came from, 
However, he combined observation and longing and pigment to create this color that opens up passion. It is a color that now can no longer be truly known. It cannot be experienced except in our dreams. For while this panorama of Kungsholmen and Riddarholmen can still be seen from the banks of Zudomalm, this color is no longer available to us. We can never behold the color of a 19th century twilight, neither visually nor affectually. This scene, lit only by gas lamps and their fragmented reflections, can now only occur in our fantasies. And so Jansson's blue becomes a portal not only to another time, but to a different way of seeing, of feeling, a different way of relating. Can you still see the figures from the Navy bathhouse in your memory? I wonder if Jansson might have painted the nocturne on a day he had visited the sensual world of the bathhouse, painting the contours of the Zudomam shoreline while remembering the contours of a bather's sinewy musculature the shape of calves, pectorals, forearms. He might have painted the oily garland of light from the lamps that dot Ridar Holman while remembering the sweaty, melting light that glistened on the shimmering bodies of the swimmers. Can the two images be transposed? Can the painting of bathers their bodies outlined with the blue that conjures the promise of a shadowy, sensual encounter, be called nocturne? Can this painting, with its watery curves, its whispering waves, its longing, be called the navy boathouse? Your hands, formed for caressing, and in form Your eyes, mirrors of love. Egatit shärliken spegel Spränger min innersta regel you are quiet rest. Your voice, the murmur of a harp, mysterious as waves whispering, entices, enchants, rocks me to rest. Du er Till 